So it's a fairly small piece. It's, you know, about the size of the fuel pump. What is up guys, welcome to JS Racing, my name is Jason. Now, a while back I mentioned that I was making like this charger sort of circuit to allow the engine to charge the Micron computer uh, so that I don't need to swap out batteries because the Micron computer, uh, its battery really sucks. So it doesn't really last a long time and once it's connected to GPS and if you connect to other sensors and stuff, the battery runs out pretty quickly. So if you want to use a Micron computer for a longer period of time, like three hours or four hours of endurance racing, that's not gonna cut it because you don't have time to swap out the batteries every time you come in and swap out the driver. So uh, I decided to sort of make a circuit that I don't need to have a battery because the battery is very heavy. And also relying on the uh, engines, you know, already running sort of flywheel to charge uh, the computer, it just makes more sense because, you know, you don't need to add more weight to it. So um, today I'm quite happy that I finally got it working so uh, right now I have this little piece here and I'll show you real quick so it's a fairly small piece it's you know about the size of the fuel pump and it just connects through the 5 pin M9 connector all the way to the uh, 5 pin connector at the back of the Micron yeah you don't need the battery for it and hold on just let me put it there yep and it just attaches to the uh, lamp coil and also you need a ground attached to the uh, case, but that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'll run it for you and see, I'll show you guys how it works. So as it was showing on the screen, it was actually taking power from uh, EXT, so it's external power source. So in the beginning, it was uh, sort of flashing coming on and off. So that means the voltage is not up to, you know, working voltage yet. So if the RPM is not high enough, the computer is not going to be able to run sufficiently. So uh, I do have a solution for that. And that is, uh, uh, I might, you know, still attach a battery to it. But because, uh, you know, the voltage is constantly going up, it's not going to run out and it's going to be continually charging the battery. So I'll be testing that, so uh, hoping that would work. But this, honestly, is the first step because this power source is only for like when you want to use just a computer. But as I mentioned in the previous video, we want to make our own uh, exhaust tailpipe or some sort of uh, valve system. So what that means is uh, I need to create a power source or an adapter thing that will be able to power three things. One is the Micron computer, the second is a microprocessor, and the third thing is the valve. So the microprocessor is really there to sort of uh, measure the RPM of the engine and it's also there to sort of process like, you know, when it needs to open and close the valve. Uh, I might even like add some uh, features where uh, you can actually adjust the speed at which the valve opens and closes or it's like gradual or whatever. So all that, uh, I'm hoping that it's programmable. And um, yeah, I think uh, this is the very first step. So it's, it's a success, uh, which I'm quite happy with. But also the second thing I need to work on is actually having those um, aluminum flywheels be able to charge the coil because right now I'm using stock flywheel because I'm just, you know, using those uh, stock flywheels to test out if the circuit works. So now the circuit works, I need to work on a flywheel. So the aluminum flywheels, as you know, they don't have a charging uh, magnet in it. So I'm guessing it's just a matter of attaching magnets inside the flywheels. So I bought some magnets, it's still being mailed. So uh, I'll be testing that very, very soon. And I'll keep you guys posted on whether that works or not. If it does, then it's gonna make everything so much easier because I, I really don't know how else I'm gonna be uh, able to buy a sort of a competition flywheel that's able to also charge the coil. You know, over here it's, it's like, you know, resources are scarce in a way. So 
Yeah, uh, so uh, that's what I'm going to be working on for the next step. So it's the microprocessor, like uh, the, the charging unit for the microprocessor, and also for the charging flywheel. So once the power side is done, I need to start working on the valve. Well, I'm still figuring that out, but uh, yeah, eventually I'll be able to find a solution. And uh, once that is settled, I'll be able to create a full system where, you know, I can charge uh, the micron, the microprocessor, the valve, and also have it control the exhaust system. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty high tech sort of a, a cart engine, which I suppose, um, uh, I suppose it's a bit of an overkill, but I don't know, I just wanna try it out and see, you know, how cheap I can make everything. Because right now for this entire system with the charging circuit, the lamp coil, and also the cable, it's very cheap. So I'll, I'll be able to make that quite readily available for people to use. So if I were to make a much bigger power source, I suppose I'll be able to make it fairly cheap too, like the PCB boards, you know, the electronic components are very cheap. So the power side, I'm not really worried about the cost. It's really just the, um, the valve. Yeah, the valve is gonna be difficult. Uh, you know, I might have to get some workshop to help me machine it or whatever, but yeah, I'm still thinking about that. But anyway, so uh, that's it for this video. It's just really to show you guys uh, that I've got a working sort of charging circuit right now. So it's, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, I'll be working on the flywheel and also a much bigger power source very soon. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.